Oh, man. Big expectations now, bro. Big. Oh, we have a Reggie Pisa, man! <laughs> OB1 plays. That's right. What's up? All right. OB1 plays. everybody how are y'all doing all right before we get started with this news give it a thumbs up you already know the video is gonna be fire and so you gotta like like the lot like 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 all right bro the expectations for metroid prime 4 has now skyrocketed retro studios is not Played around with the talent working on this game. Bro, this game is about to be epic. Check out this news. Retro Studios has just hired Johnny Lingdist. He was the former art director over at DICE. Known for the Battlefield series and Mirror's Edge. Bro, that was a senior position. They pretty much, Retro Studio now has the top dog who was the art director at, um, over the Battlefield games. Battlefield and Mirror's Edge. Two pretty dope first person shooting games. This, <coughs> this almost confirms. Now it doesn't quite confirm, but this gives a strong indication that Metroid Prime 4 is going to be another first-person game. Because there could be a possibility. It could be a third-person shooter. But all of the Prime games have been first-person. So for them to hire this art director who specializes. Battlefield is a bit pretty dope um, first-person shooter game. Bro, Battlefield. <laughs> EA don't want to put games on the Switch. Well, we'll take all your EA developers. This is big stuff and just the fact that he just came on board it lets me i have a strong feeling this game is about two three years out of the way we're not gonna get this game i say this all the time we're not gonna get this game on the current switch as it is this is gonna be probably a switch pro launch title or I think it's still going to be compatible with the current Switch. So if you have a current Switch, you are going to be able to play Metro Prime 4. But it's going to be sort of like what Nintendo did with Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Wii U and the Switch. Where it came on, on more powerful hardware, but still Nintendo didn't shun their dedicated fans. And so, this is, listen to his uh, comment um, as he's leaving EA and coming over to Retro. This is what Johnny says. Today was my last day at DICE. And it's with mixed feelings I'm leaving something that's been part of my life for such a long time. It's been a great journey and I feel privileged to have gotten the chance to work with all the talented people at DICE. You will be missed. Now I'm ready for a new chapter in my life and looking forward to my new journey with Retro Studios. And so, I think... Now, I... No, no, well, this is still my opinion. But I think this is Retro Studios' biggest hire since they announced they're working on Metroid Prime 4. I don't think you guys know how huge this is, man. I can't wait. Bro, we need to get a teaser or a development update or something on this game. Definitely at E3. At the next Nintendo Direct. Speaking of Nintendo Direct, Nintendo, bro. It's February, bruh. It's February 3rd, bruh. Taking my son to Disney today for his birthday. We go to Disney all the time, bro. <laughs> all right. <coughs> but Nintendo Direct, it's February. Bro, if they tease us with Metroid Prime 4 at this Nintendo Direct, that would be late. I doubt it. Metroid Prime 4 is more of an EE insert, bro. An E3 insert. I say EE. 
E3, they need to give us something with Metroid Prime 4, but we'll have to wait and see. But a huge hire for Metroid fans. Bro, they gonna have uh, Metroid looking like Battlefield, bro. Realistic rocks everywhere, bro. Now, I think they need to still keep that. I, I just want to see how the game looks. The game is gonna look dope. I remember the Metroid Prime games were known for pushing the envelope with Nintendo hardware. When the game launched on the GameCube, it looked better than any other game on the system, bro. It was amazing at the time how the game was able to maximize the hardware. Um, the game still holds up good today. Um, and so I can't wait to see um, what Nintendo's able to do. You better believe this game is going to squeeze every ounce of juice <laughs> out of the Switch. Um, and Retro Studios, there we go, because I have to say, when Retro Studios was first, um, saying that they were taking over, um, Metroid Prime, Metroid Prime 4, I was a little skeptical, bro, I was like, Retro, last time I heard all your talent went over to Halo, bro, but Retro, they're like, man, we are not going to tarnish our name. We're going to make sure it's a great game. So they're hiring quality, great developers to put time, effort, quality, and care in the game. I'm not even mad anymore that the game is delayed. As long as it's going to be a quality product at the end of the day, make it worth the wait of Retro Studios. And in the meantime... Give us um, 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 the Metroid Prime Trilogy HD uh, on the Switch. I would take that, bro. I would take that right now on the Switch to tide the time over while they work on this epicness. Actually, Metroid Prime Trilogy, a remake. I want it to be, I want them to have, of course, another studio um, port the games over, but have the graphics looking good, man. Don't just put it in HD. But upscale the textures, some of the assets. Just give us an all-new experience. The same game, but like a remake. Um, I hope that we get that with the Metro Prime Trilogy for the Switch. And there's been rumors of a 2D Metroid game coming to the Switch from reliable sources. And so if we get Metroid Prime Trilogy... And a 2D Metroid game uh, while a Retro Studios is working on the big boy. That would be lit, man. And so, Retro Studios has acquired a big, big, big developer. The former art director for Battlefield and Mirror's Edge is now working on your favorite Metroid game. Bro. <laughs> Online multiplayer. Online multiplayer. You got different bounty hunters, bro. They got different abilities, bro, in Metroid Prime 3. Multiplayer has to be in this game, bro. I'm going to be disappointed. Even though I'm getting this um, for a first player experience, I really want multiplayer now in this game. Some kind of online multiplayer. Bro, we had online multiplayer with Metro Prime Federation Force. Bro. Metro Prime Federation Force was lit. Y'all were hating on that game. And on the DS with the Bounty Hunter on Metroid game, it was online multiplayer. It could happen. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about this acquisition? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. And before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. You're still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right, we're having monthly giveaways. $60 eShop codes for your Nintendo Switch. You can choose any game of your choice. How do you enter? One, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to this fire. Two, make sure you're following me on Twitter, at Obi-Wan Plays, and that's it. 
you're in for our monthly giveaways. But that's not it. It gets even better. Do you want to game with your boy every day? Do you want to join our private Nintendo Switch Gaming Discord? Become a member. Three ways to join. One, through YouTube. There's a join button right below this video. Two, through Twitch. Twitch Prime, you can do it for free or just subscribe through Twitch. And number three, the third way to join, patreon.com backslash Obi-Wan plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. See you later. Peace.